Hello and welcome to the CG Tech Channel. My name is Gorban Garcia and on today's show, I will be showing you guys the new YouTube player. Now, I'd like to thank Tim Schmoyer, which you can see right here, for uh, letting me know about this new player. So let's do the intro and I'll show off this player. So the first thing you're going to notice is it's been completely redesigned with a new transparent design and you can uh, see right here it has like different effects when you play and pause as you can see there transform right let me there you can see it. so uh, then you have a next option to see in the next video and then you have your mute and unmute button and volume controls you have your time how far you've gotten in and how long the video is Closed caption uh, button or subtitles and under settings you have a few new settings here. So you have your normal autoplay and annotation settings uh, with the on and off toggles and over here you can see your speed which you can uh, speed up a video to make a video uh, shorter or you can even make it um, longer if you want to but uh, under that you have subtitles <coughs> letting you choose uh, what subtitles you would like. And then at the bottom, you have your option for your quality of the video that you're watching. After the settings icon, you can go into theater mode, which I usually only use for uh, certain widescreen videos. And then the full screen button, which does what full screen does. And so uh, up at the top now, you also, when you go into full screen mode, as you can see right here, you have the option to watch later and to share. So let's get out of this and I want to show another feature that came with the new player is if you are in a video and you click on an ad, it just pauses it instead of the normal um, taking you to the website. So if you want to learn more about the advertiser, you hit this um, little icon. By the way, I'm not endorsing this company. I don't know who they are. Anyway, the next part is the new player also adapts to the size of your window so in this case it just make it smaller so what it is it a small made the player smaller and if i uh drag my um window smaller it adapts the size depending on how big the window is so that it can fit inside of the window so this is the new YouTube player, and if you would like to get it, uh, I will leave the link down below in the description. But uh, all you'd have to do is just go to the website, which is here. I'll leave the link down below in the description, like I just said. And you just go to the website, and uh, you have to wait till it loads. And at the bottom, you just click. Um, it's gonna say click here to get the new player and if you don't like the new player you can go also to the website to restore it and it may not look like anything happened but all you have to do as soon as you get the new player it's going to try to get you to do this help us improve thing but uh, all you have to do is just exit out the tab launch a youtube video and you'll be able to see the video so other than that there's no other changes and yeah that's just been my tutorial of the new youtube player Thanks for watching today's video. You can check out the previous video, which is linked right there. You can also follow me on Twitter to get the latest updates of upcoming videos. And then uh, go to my website, cgtech.weebly.com, to get links to get the new player. Anyway, thanks for watching, and you'll hear my voice in the next video, which will be next Thursday. Hey guys, thanks for watching to the end of this video, and if you watch this far, that means you really like credits, or you're a true fan of the show. So if you like my type of content, you might also like, um, I think he wants to be called SMP Tech HD, but I like to call him Simple Tech HD, but... You might want to check out his channel. He makes some great content, and his latest video was released yesterday as of the day of this recording on iOS 9 First Look, and he does a little review and how to get it free for uh, non-developers, which includes me because I am not a developer for Apple. So I'll probably be getting that sometime soon later this month. But enough of that. 
you might want to go check out his channel, which I will leave uh, linked down below. It'll be the first thing in the description. And um, also, follow him on Twitter, at SMPTechHDD, which um, you should go check out. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.